The last set of functions I wanted to show you all have to do with working with strings. Since SQL Server tends to store a lot of text data, you'll find these handy. The first one is substring. What substring does is you pass to it a string, beginning at the third position in the string, extract out two or find a substring. This will take the third and subtract out two. So it's going to return CD. Sure enough, it does. Stuff is just the opposite of substring. Instead of extracting out, we're going to insert in. The first parameter is going to receive the insert. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G is going to receive the insert. The insert is going to begin at character position 3. The insert will delete or replace two characters, meaning C and D, and it will be replaced by this new insert string. So that's the stuff. There it works just fine. A couple more just examples of stuff. This example stuffs a couple of hyphens into a string so it is formatted like a social security number. And character index, F5. It goes through and it tells us where a C is found within this string. So it says for string 1, where is that found in string 2? Pat index or pattern index is similar. It looks for a more complex string within a second string. Then the right and left goes through and does like a substring but extracts out. So this will extract out the right two characters, then the left two characters from my name. The length just returns the length of a string. R trim and L trim trim off leading and trailing spaces. Then upper and lower simply does an uppercase or a lowercase. And those are some string functions.